Hoping it will go soon. <laughs> oh my word. Did you wave? <laughs> See if we can get him to. Oh, I could have tinted his horn. Welcome to the sunny Peak District again. It seems uh, that every camp I do at the moment seems to be rubbish weather, but it is supposed to brighten up. So uh, today we're heading up to Marjorie Hill and going to do a wild camp at Marjorie Stones. I say we, because I'm out with uh, Paul again. Say hello, Paul. Uh, yeah, so far Paul hasn't um, fallen over, although he's had a few slippy slide moments. And his bag's looking, uh, his bag's looking quite clean. Yeah, it cleans up well. Not, not a bad job at all. So yeah, so we've got quite a hike. We've got about uh, an 11 mile hike up to Marjorie Stones. I'm going to take it quite easy. I think we're going to go down across uh, uh, Lady Bower Reservoir and down, uh, down inside of Dermot Water because we've had so much rain everywhere it's just sodden right let's put some miles in on this hike nice of someone to put these stones here i have to say Ducks. Uh, excuse me, what? I'm gonna go out my bag, Mister. No, that's not food. Uh, I say, Mister, Mrs. Sorry. I can see you. Oh, yeah. It's uh, Derwent's dam. It's been uh, full flow today. I just will come back here in the summer and it's uh, uh, empty. Well, considering it was uh, raining a few moments ago, the sun is now shining. And it's absolutely glorious, which is it's typical for this time of year. Look at this. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. Unfortunately, Paul's having problems with his uh, <laughs> B3 filter, which is quite a common thing on the B3s, unfortunately. I've had the same issue, which is why I actually stopped using mine. I mean, this is pretty forceful, so yeah. you would think it would unclog it, but well, the other way to do it is just uh... I don't think you're going to do that, mate. Catch them be free. Yeah, fail. Good. Fail. Sorry about the wind. Uh, you might not be able to hear me very well, but. I've said it on one of my other videos and I'll say it again. I always get amazed at the view from Howden Moors. It's just stunning. You just get to see the valley all the way down there. If you go up it high, high, you can obviously see further. And it probably doesn't come across on camera very well. It is absolutely stunning. Raining. Here we go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> right, here we are. It's just started raining, so we're going to get pits pretty quick. Paul's got his pitch over here. I've got mine here. Let's get going quick. Big old 
old footprint. Getting a slip on this. This is slipping. As the wind's kind of panning kind of inside the tent, so we probably should have pitched it slightly differently. But one of our vestibules is kind of like pointing. But all struggling as well. I'm hoping it will go soon. guy here uh, which is unfortunately in my back. How are you doing Paul? Yeah it's all right. I just I, I did a mod on it last year so I'm just trying to wind picked up all of a sudden it's causing all sorts of problems the sides coming in quite a lot but it's about to try and do something about that so in here I've brought some uh, of these sea to summit guy lines so I can just attach them to the outside which is that storm wasn't it, it kind of so these just go in here. So that just hooks onto here, like so. That was hard work. Just the wind. Getting underneath the tent. Two beers for the night. 6.7%. What was that? 6.7%. Oh, I'm talking, oh, sorry, mate. talking sorry. to these, these people. Sorry, I don't want to. It's going to be an interesting test for the x that's for sure. Oh, blimey, it's so windy here. Hoping those gusts are going to calm down because the x taking a proper battering, as you can see. And the wind keeps changing direction, so it's hard to know where it's coming from. But this side, particularly, is taking a bit of a battering. But uh, Paul's got the uh, Land Shan 2. He had a bit of trouble setting it up, but he's uh, got it pitched. It's looking nice and taut. Best as I can get it. The uh, side of it's taking a bit of a battering. It's got the four season in it. <laughs> yeah, it's got the solid mesh uh, in it. Solid in it. It's quite similar. Quite similar to the X Mid, really. It's even more windy out here. Like this part here is really windy. So the, the rocks are giving a little bit of shield. And as you can see, next mid's taking a right battery. But she's doing all right. Had a bit of a problem with uh, the uh, this bit. This kept slipping but it seems okay for now I've got this guy on there so yeah we'll just see how it goes it's not supposed to rain it's not supposed to rain anymore so hopefully that the last of rain and it should be quite clear I'm just hope for these winds to die down because they're I think they're heavier than what they were forecast I wasn't expecting it to be quite as windy but we're going to uh, just get get set up and I think we're gonna have a beer Downed up, and uh, this uh, tent's coming in quite a lot on this side, annoyingly. So, I'm definitely going to be sleeping on that side. Uh, but I don't think this wind's going to get any better, particularly. So 
it could be a bit interesting. I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to keep the vestibule open because the problem is as soon as I open the vestibule, all of the wind just comes into the tent. That's blowing everything around. So it's a bit of a, it's a bit annoying. This is going to be a fun night, I think. Left in it. Good night, Paul. Say again? Get me warm stuff on. Your warm stuff on. Oh, it's much nicer on this side of the tent than the other side of the tent. I don't know whether, whether it would have made any difference pitching a bit further across. Probably, probably not. This is kind of like the flattest pitch. Oh, it'd be nice to get one camp in that's not cold, not windy, not wet. Luckily, it's not wet and it's not supposed to rain tonight. But it's windy as hell and that wind is it's pretty cold. Not, not ridiculously cold, but it is, it is, it is cold. Oh, some people complain about these tie, ties here, but I, I quite like them. Quite fuss free, which is nice. Oh. He says as they come undone. <laughs> uh, oh, right, dinner tonight. What have we got? Uh, some gnocchi for tonight. So I've never tried this before when uh, I'm out. Um, so I thought I'd give this uh, give this a go. It'll take about four to five minutes on the uh, in the pan so I thought well, that's quite good four to five minutes I was looking at I was looking at buying some quick cooked pasta but I couldn't find any in, Mor in uh, Morrison so I thought that was the next best thing and actually more filling as well Go. Got my gnocchi on the go. Talking to the camera. Oh. <laughs> you can listen too, it's fine. Feel free to in interact, it's alright. Uh, everyone's included. Um, this magnetic tie back here, it's, uh, it just doesn't do a no good job in, in these conditions to hold the best of your door open. And you can see it's just starting to flap. So if I do it, and then do it up again. Start to get worse again, which is a bit annoying. Oh. Oh. Close that up. It's too cold. It just started piddling down a rain, and it, it wasn't forecast to rain, so um, it's really annoying. We've had to just close our vestibules up because it's just uh, too windy. And the wind's died down a bit, to be fair. Um, but yeah, it has just started raining now. Hopefully that'll stop soon. And we've got a proper storm going on here. Back and It's just come from nowhere. 
Oh my word! Holy crap! <laughs> you okay over there? Some of my pegs are coming out. Oh, Jesus Christ. This uh, storm's come from nowhere. It wasn't forecast at all. And it's just hit really, really hard. And the X-Men's doing great. You see this, this whole side here is just coming in. I could, have, I could have done with really pegging the vestibule out, but... Get out your tent. God, well, what's happened outside? <laughs> I missed something. <laughs> oh. So yeah, that was pretty, pretty bi biblical, as uh, Paul put it. That's what we have just gone through. It, 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 oh. That's mental. Yeah, the winds have completely gone now. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah. There's hardly any wind at all now. Like, just a very slight breeze. Makes it fun now, doesn't it? Oh, God almighty, where'd that come from? <laughs> Big props to the Durst and Exmid 2. Big props to the Lanshan 2. Yes. Yeah, I grabbed the trekking pole at one point on this side. Yeah. But to be honest, fine. Absolutely yeah. fine, so... Forecast for rain at all. It's nothing but flipping rain. It's got really windy again. Um, yeah, it calmed down and now uh, we've got some rain. Had some problem. we've had some rain. And this tent's flapping all over the place. I mean, the X-Men's doing well, it's just not, um, it's just not the most comfortable because, like, it's just a bit flappy because, yeah, there's just so much wind coming underneath the tent. I think I've pitched it the best I can, but, yeah, it's not ideal. You are right there, you got cramp, cramp again. <laughs> Paul keeps getting cramp. Honestly, <laughs> I keep hearing weird moans. 
Ooh, right, we're all uh, hunkered down for the night. I think um, it's, only, it's only quarter past eight, but um, the, re the, the weather's so unpredictable and it's um, pretty cold out there with, with the wind. Um, yeah, so I think pretty much going to uh, head to sleep soon and hope that uh, we don't get any more of those mental storms. But right, unless anything really exciting happens, um, I will uh, see you in the morning. Say good night, Paul. Good night, Paul. Horrible outside. How was your tent? Yeah, my sleeping bag was a bit damp as well, or my quilt. Uh, yeah, my, my quilt was damp. Yeah, uh, was damp. my quilt was damp. That's the um, enlightened enlightened equipment. Oh. It's the uh, it's the Enigma, I think that one. Okay. Is it the Enigma? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's a great quilt. Right. Get a coffee on and make some porridge. Well, we've got a uh, awesome sunrise going on, which is nice. It suddenly just started breaking through and it's all uh, all the clouds now broken so we've got a great view of the valley but yeah looking stunning I think it's gonna be a nice day so I think we're gonna get a nice a nice hike back we're not, we're not gonna go the way we, we we came up yesterday we're gonna go across Derwin edge which means going around some kind of marshland for a bit which isn't the most scenic of routes uh, to start off with, but then once you get on to kind of the Derwent Edge area, then it's it's it's, really, it's nice. Right, I think we are going to get packed up slowly and then start thinking about hitting the road. Right, let's get packed up. Right, we are all packed away. I think Paul's ready. You all good? I'm good, mate, yeah. Just putting, yeah. His, gaiters on. Just putting his gaiters on. Um, so that's where I was. Paul was just here, which probably not the most ideal, but not, not bad. It's well, bit, I didn't have any choice. Bit of a bump. I didn't have any choice, mate, because you grabbed that one straight away. I think in hindsight, Paul would have been better off here which for so my tent was there and he would have been better here because it would have been slightly more shielded a from by me and also from the rock because he was <laughs> out in the elements and he had a wonderful two-hour sleep um and and then we, i could my vestibule could have been open and talking to him easier because i couldn't keep my vestibule open because it was too windy but apart from that uh, it was it was it was a delight. You're a score save you mate on that. Head boat. We finally got off the horrible marshland which you seem to go on forever and ever and there's no end to it we we'll just hit a lovely, lovely pass here that leads us all the way to Bactor and then the start of Derwent Edge so that's nice. There we go. 
don't have to contend with any more bogs, I don't think. I mean, clearly the next shot of me will be us knee deep in bogs. Ah, oh, crap. Lovely path gone. Right, just at the back tour now. Already quite a few people out. Everyone loves to skip off. Right, I've been coaching the horses. Can you have a look? I'll show you some camping spots. Popular spot that. Busy down here, but we've got ice creams. Thank you for the ice ice cream, Paul. Right, I think I'm going to sign off here. I'm getting stuck in bogs. So, uh, yeah, thanks for joining myself and thanks for joining Paul on this. Uh, it's quite an epic wild camp in the end, wasn't it? I guess it was, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Mark. Good one. Yeah, it's good. Very good. So, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Stay safe, keep on trekking. Stay yeah. subscribed. Stay subscribed or subscribe, please. And I always forget to say that. I always forget to say, please like and subscribe. Smash that like button. <laughs> Hammer it. Hammer it. Um, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.